Um, so this is a big week for me. Um, many years ago, I did a movie, actually 30 years ago, called Son-in-Law, where it's like the people in the Midwest like to say, my fucking son-in-law, dog. Hell yeah. We're going to get a pig hit. Uh, son-in-law. Huh. This is like me remembering son-in-law, remembering son-in-law. Um, if someone asks me what my... Uh, I don't know if to say my favorite, favorite movie I did, but I have to say the hottest movie I did. It was probably Son-in-Law. Son-in-Law took me out of the MTV audience and brought me into mainstream. If you watch the movie, there's so many different ages of different characters that are in it. There's the father, there's the grandfather, there's the kid, there's the mom, there's the girlfriend, the jock boyfriend. It kind of checks all the boxes. Um, the script was a great script. It always starts, uh, there's an old saying, if it's not on the page, it's not on the stage. So Son-in-Law, uh, the script was a great script. It was very simple. It was kind of like a takeoff of this old Sidney Poitier movie called Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, and um, a little bit like that. And I think Ben, ben uh, Stiller did like, uh, was it Meet the Faulkners, which was kind of like a takeoff of Son-in-Law. So it's kind of a, a genre and kind of a structure that you know we've seen before, but I think Son-in-Law is one that I'd have to say is probably the best one out of all those films. I mean, I'm not just saying that. I'm just saying that based off of the uh, based off the experience that I've had when I've gone out into the world. Um, it's the first movie that I did that um, that took me over all over the world. I went to Japan to promote it. I went to Australia, London, Paris. I went all over, and it was uh, the movie that really kind of. Like I said, took me out of that MTV audience, which was Encino Man and, and, and the Totally Polly and all that, and brought me to mainstream. And to this day, it's a very big um, Thanksgiving film, um, which is cool. It's Thanksgiving week, um, and I get it a lot on social media, and I get it a lot from just people everywhere when I tour. They always say, fuck, Polly. Every, every Thanksgiving, me and the family gather around and watch Son-in-Law. Uh, very proud of the film. I'm very happy that I was able to make some sort of a film that will always be there after I'm gone and after I'm finished on this earth. Uh, this film will last the test, the test, test, the test, the test, the test, the time. Um, and uh, it's pretty exciting. It's kind of like, a, I guess, Chevy Chase and the movie Vacation or a Christmas Story. Every Christmas, that movie, a vacation comes on, and the whole family gathers around and um, and watches it. Um, how the movie came about, how Son-in-Law came about, um, a gentleman by the name of Peter Lankoff, uh, who kind of created this uh, this idea. I guess her sister was dating a guy that was like a fucking nightmare, and um, and immediately he thought of this film, and then he was watching. I think myself on Totally Polly on MTV and said, fuck, this is the guy, this is the guy that will be perfect for son-in-law. So then um, um, he talked to, I think it was Peter Paterno at Disney, and then got to Jeffrey Katzenberg, who was running Disney at the time, and, um, and uh, they called me in because I had already done Encino Man, and they said, we want Polly Shore to star in son-in-law. It was pretty cool. It was, a, it was a pretty cool experience, and it was um, a beautiful film. And uh, it, it was fun. Uh, casting was great. The casting of Son-in-Law was fantastic. Uh, it was, um, we casted it at Disney. It was a Disney film. And um, a lot of women came in to audition for the role that uh, Carla Cuccino eventually got. Um, Ashley Judd auditioned for it. Um, Heather Graham from Drugstore Cowboys. She auditioned for it. A lot of women auditioned uh, for the movie. Uh, Patrick Renna, who played the little chubby kid, um, who played uh, my girlfriend, Carla Cucina's uh, younger brother. Um, Disney originally, I don't know if you remember the movie, you saw the movie, uh, Disney originally did not want Patrick Renna. They said he's too fucking weird, he's kind of bizarre, and me and Steve Rash, the director, were like, no, 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 no. This guy's perfect, because we got the squishy, puffy cheeks, bro. And it was great. Uh, and uh, Steve Rash, the director, did a fantastic job. Um, he had did a movie years before that called Can't Buy Me Love, which starred Patrick Dempsey, which I fucking loved. It was a fucking great ass movie. Patrick Dempsey, a very underrated actor. Um, I wouldn't say underrated, but most people don't 
think of him as like um, you know up there with all the other uh, bigs but he was he was great great actor and um, he did a great job in Can't Buy Me Love so they got Steve Rash to uh, to direct this um, and I remember being on the set with Steve Rash we were filming the uh, I think it was the turkey scene and I said to him because I was enamored with this film Can't Buy Me Love uh, which started the late, st also started the late, uh, uh, starred the late Amanda Peterson. I said to Steve Rash on the set, I think, I said to him, I, do you think this is going to be as good as the movie did Can't Buy Me Love? And he kind of laughed at me, kind of like, like, get away, kid. Like, yeah, you'll be lucky. And sure enough, Son-in-Law actually, I think, did better than Can't Buy Me Love and is more of a mainstream, you know, mainstream, uh, mainstream film for that. Um, I was very, I'm very proud of Son-in-Law, and I'm very happy that every Thanksgiving it comes out, and every Thanksgiving uh, uh, it, it does really well, and the families gather around and watch Son-in-Law. And uh, people always ask me the, uh, the stupidest questions about Son-in-Law as well. They always say, hey, Paula, did you really ride that pig in Son-in-Law? I'm like, did you see the movie? Yes, I saw the movie. I'm like, was I riding a pig? Yes, you were riding a pig. I said, then guess what? I was fucking riding the pig in Son-in-Law. I almost died for you fuckers. Okay? Well, it's not like Jurassic Park where they superimpose the fucking animals behind him. Like, oh my God. No, I almost fucking died. Which is why I have a bad back, I think, now. Because that motherfucking house, piggy, piggy, piggy. But, uh... Yeah, it was great. Great cast. The late, late Lane Lane uh, starred in it. Um, he was from my cousin Vinny, uh, Lane Smith. You got Carla Cuccino, Tiffany Amber Thiessen. You got, uh, I don't know, great cast, Patrick Renna. And this is my week. This is uh, Polly Shore's week. This is the week of son-in-law. And this is the week of family. And I hope you guys uh, watch son-in-law this week on my behalf. And um, I don't know what else to say, except for Embreeder's body. Thank you to Son-in-Law, and thank you to Disney, and thank you to Steve Rash, and thank you to, for, most importantly, Peter Lenkoff for writing a beautiful script. Oh, yeah, and Fax and Adam, they tagged it, they wrote it. And I think Sean Sheps, who wrote Encino Man, had something to do with it. And, of course, Jeffrey Katzenberg for inviting me into the Disney family at the time when we did it. So enjoy son-in-law for the whole family this Thanksgiving, and uh, I'm happy to be part of American um, American nostalgia. It's pretty cool. All right, <laughs> gonna get out of here, how Barista.